What if mankind possessed a time machine? A man-made marvel capable of unveiling the enigmatic mysteries of time and space. An instrument with the power to capture phenomena so unimaginable that if it were not captured on camera, nobody would have believed it exists. Well, the James Webb Telescope is one such time machine. It has captured billions of years old galaxies, stars, and revealed the true mysteries that lie behind the hazes of planets. What mysteries have JWST solved yet? Is it related to extraterrestrial life or something even more mysterious than that? Let's find out. The James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, is specifically designed to conduct unseeable astronomy. Its infrared camera allows it to view objects too old, distant, or faint that the human mind is incapable of even imagining. The JWST has deeply investigated the field of cosmology, and it has captured images of the first stars and the formation of the first galaxies, detailed atmospheric characterization of potentially habitable exoplanets, and maybe the existing creatures on them. The web was launched on the 25th of December 2021. In January 2022, it reached its first destination, solar orbit near the Sun-Earth L2 Lagrange point. From then onward, JWST has captured countless cosmic wonders that make us think how tiny we are. Starting from the fat one, aka El Gordo, number. One, it's a cluster comprising hundreds of galaxies. El Gordo dates back to when the universe was 6.2 billion years old. In astronomical terms, it's more like a cosmic teenager that remarkably stands out as the most massive cluster known to have existed during that era. The latest image of the galaxy cluster called El Gordo, captured by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope, is revealing never-before-seen distant and dusty objects, opening up exciting new avenues for scientific exploration. This infrared image showcases a range of peculiar and distorted background galaxies, which were merely suggested in earlier images from the Hubble Space Telescope. The image also revealed faint and smudge-like galaxies called ultra-diffuse galaxies within the El Gordo cluster. These galaxies have stars spread out widely and appear bluer, younger, and more stretched across space. This suggests that their time in the cluster for the past six billion years has greatly influenced them. Furthermore, the presence of such a large galaxy cluster increases the chances of finding planets suitable for extraterrestrial life. 2. Pillars of Creation The Pillars of Creation is a famous structure originally captured by the Hubble Space Telescope in 1995. It depicts a region within the Eagle Nebula, M16, which is a star-forming region located in the constellation. NASA's James Webb Space Telescope has taken a vivid and intricate picture of the famous Pillars of Creation, where new stars are emerging from thick clouds of gas and dust. These towering pillars may resemble majestic rock formations, but they are actually made of cool interstellar gas and dust. In certain cases, they even appear somewhat see-through when viewed in near-infrared light. The star formation within the pillars is probably nearly finished. These images give us a look into the distant past because the pillars of creation are about 6,500 light-years away from Earth. It's believed that around 6,000 years ago, a star exploding as a supernova might have wiped out the pillars of creation. We, as humans, may only have another 500 years to study them before they vanish for good. Pluto's brother. The JWS pictures also show us seven of Neptune's moons. If you look closely at the larger view of Neptune, there's a shiny spot just above the ice giant. That's Triton, one of Neptune's moons. Triton looks super bright because it's covered in a frozen layer of condensed nitrogen, and it reflects about 70% of the sunlight that hits it, making it even brighter than Neptune, which is usually darkened by methane. It contains enough radioactive elements to generate heat, which turns its icy surface into a slushy mixture of water, carbon dioxide, and nitrogen. This keeps Triton active and relatively young. There's even a possibility of a liquid water ocean beneath its icy crust, which could hint at the potential for life in the distant future. While Neptune itself lacks a solid surface for colonization, Triton presents an interesting option for a space colony. However, living on Triton means you wouldn't experience seasons or temperature changes, as there's an average temperature of minus 391 degrees Fahrenheit, minus 235 Celsius, 
making it the coldest known object in our solar system. There is a possibility that Triton originally formed as a small binary system, and a close encounter with Neptune sent Triton's twin flying away and left Triton itself trapped. Triton remains warm because like other Kuiper Belt objects, James Webb Telescope finds carbon on Europa's surface. Jupiter's moon, Europa, has always fascinated scientists. It's one of the few places in our solar system that could support life as we know it. Recently, NASA's James Webb Space Telescope made an exciting discovery about Europa. On September 21, 2023, NASA's Webb team announced a groundbreaking finding. They found carbon dioxide on Europa's surface. This is a big deal because it suggests that there might be carbon in Europa's subsurface ocean, which is crucial for life. This discovery has important implications for the search for extraterrestrial life. Europa's main attraction is its hidden ocean beneath a thick layer of ice. Previous research has already shown that this ocean exists. What's really interesting is that the carbon dioxide seems to have come from Europa's own subsurface ocean, not from outside sources like meteorites. And it looks like this carbon was deposited on Europa's surface fairly recently. This discovery has opened up new possibilities for the study of life beyond Earth. Jupiter-sized objects floating in space. Recently, in October 2023, JWS spotted Jupiter-sized, free-floating planets that are not connected to any star. These objects have been nicknamed Jupiter-mass binary objects, or jumbos. Around 40 pairs of jumbos were identified. Notably, these objects are too small to be stars, but also defy the conventional definition of a planet because they are not in orbit around a parent star. As of now, these mysterious objects have left astronomers clueless and they are struggling to make an explanation. The European Space Agency, ESA team, has given two possible origin explanations for these massive objects. The first one is that these objects grew out of regions in the nebula where the density of material was insufficient to make fully-fledged stars. The second possibility is that they are planets that formed around stars but were eventually kicked out due to gravitational interactions. Till now we have discussed life's existence in our solar system. But now let's look at the signs of life that JWST has captured outside our solar system. First evidence of carbon dioxide on an exoplanet. Bocaprins, also known as WASP-39b, is a super-hot planet located a whopping 700 light-years away from Earth. It zooms around its star in just four Earth days. And here's the big news. The James Webb Space Telescope, on July 10, 2022, spotted traces of carbon dioxide on Boca Prins for the very first time in history. They used Webb's near-infrared spectrograph, NIR spec, to make this incredible observation. This discovery opens up a world of possibilities for finding life in the vast universe. Now here's the exciting part. Scientists think this planet has three times more water than Saturn. This discovery is super important because carbon dioxide is a gas essential for life and is present on this planet. Finding carbon dioxide in the atmospheres of exoplanets like Boca Prins boosts our hopes of discovering life beyond our solar system. Observations made by old telescopes like NASA's Hubble Space Telescope revealed that water vapors, sodium and potassium are present in the atmosphere of Boca Prins, but James Webb's unmatched infrared sensitivity has now confirmed the presence of carbon dioxide on this planet as well. In the resulting spectrum of the exoplanet's atmosphere, a small hill between 4.1 and 4.6 micrometers presents the first clear, detailed evidence of carbon dioxide ever detected in a planet outside the solar system. Another trace of life on exoplanets, K218b, an exoplanet located 120 light-years away from our pale blue dot. With a mass 8.6 times that of Earth, this distant world orbits the cool dwarf star K218 within the possibility of being a habitable zone. James Webb Space Telescope has unveiled a captivating new chapter in this story with the discovery of CO2 and other signals for the existence of life. A picture by JWST is given. The heart of Webb's discovery lies in the possibility that K218b might be a Hycean exoplanet. Defined by their hydrogen-rich atmospheres and aqueous surfaces, 
The ocean worlds give us ideas to expand our horizons in the search for extraterrestrial life. This revelation underscores the significance of embracing diverse habitable environments when seeking life beyond our planet. Furthermore, methane in particular is one of great interest because on Earth it is produced both biotically by living organisms and abiotically through geological processes. The presence of methane on K218b raises the tantalizing possibility of biological or geological activity, as both could produce this gas. In essence, the detection of methane and carbon dioxide on K218b expands the range of exoplanetary environments that astrobiologists consider when searching for extraterrestrial life. It dismisses the importance of diverse habitable zones and demonstrates that life-supporting conditions may exist on exoplanets with varying characteristics. The atmospheric composition of this planet is highlighted in this image.